goel ji a, a good friend of ours and iitpm uh, he is the founder of india food tours in delhi he is a foodie himself and so loves to take people on on food tours and he is also the founder chairman of india food tourism organization so we've been closely associated with the ifto to promote culinary tourism as one of the major forces in the country all across the country so i welcome uh, rajiv ji you on behalf of iittm fraternity on behalf of the teachers the staff and all the students gathered over here most welcome Hi. rajiv ji and i hand over the session to you it is all yours now uh thanks a lot uh for having me here guys i can't tell you how excited i am already speaking to you i really admire your institution and the support and the kind of quality student uh, iittm produces a uh, few of them are working with me and i hope to have more people from this uh, prestigious institute institute in future as well but today concern uh, that today meeting is all about that i'm bringing here is talking about one of the key element of tourism which is culinary tourism uh when i say culinary tourism i mean uh, the product which is very much like a spine cord of any tourism structure in india either we are talking about the international travelers or we are talking about the home travelers who are traveling within the country so as the name uh, name explains here that we are talking about uh, a tourism structure which is only about food but at the same time when i say i'm talking about the food i am intend uh, to to just highlight or glorify the segment so at this moment you can see uh, a slide show coming in up front where you can see a thali uh a thali which is uh, showing the different vegetables cooked in a different style and it's a home food of course so this is what i see as our future of the uh, travel that we should start promoting our home uh we can say the native uh, food structure due to this uh, covid 19 the world is already in scare but if we see or learn the global uh, uh numbers uh, compared to other part in india we found that indians were little immune to a lot of things though it is happening i wish the numbers would stop any time but still the tolerance or the uh, you can say immunity power of indians is different where i completely give this credit to our food habits which i i personally admire either we talk about eating of turmeric ginger or so on number of spices it is hard to take names from everyone but just giving an idea idea here that that uh, the food itself is very explanatory here why i say food tourism separately rather than just calling it tourism part because i think this is one of the segments where uh, you know uh, that one have to really now now one will at least focus on because people will be mostly concerned of where they're going but also what they are eating how they are eating so all the tourism professional you guys are and uh, in respective of which uh, a particular genre you going to pick up in the tourism industry it becomes a very very important segment to have a knowledge it not it may be detailed but at least a sound amount of knowledge for the subject because uh, when you are traveling maybe you go monument or not maybe you uh, visit some sightseeing places or not but at least you going to eat three times a day in your city in your state wherever you are helping them out to or wherever you are facilitating the tour so it automatically becomes a highest done activity in a day and if you can make something up for it so or make it interesting or make it senseful or at least uh, you can say you can make it like one of the element to showcase your state or city it it suddenly changes the complete uh, you know thought process of a traveler uh i have uh, tried giving you a little ideology uh, idea here about uh, the the tourism structure food tourism culinary exploration food it has been given in a lot uh, detailed manner uh, in slide you can see it has been there history of food culture in india is pretty brief you know we never ate anything normally we were going either talking about ayurveda we are talking about jainism 
Uh, we are talking about rasik, satvik. We have a food for seasons. We have a food for festivals. So I think uh, it is one already a big subject here, and and uh, we can say as our history defines that India also have in the you can say witness the multiple uh, international cultures in India. Either talking about the Mughals or British, Portuguese, and they all influence or gain something to us to enjoy. So you know those are those history which is a uh, people can submerge in them. For example, if I have to say I belong to Delhi, or if, I, if I'm talking about the old Delhi, which is very well known by at least the students in Delhi or everyone, old Delhi is uh, called as one of the you can say a hub for food. And uh, if I'm taking my traveler to to Jama Masjid, very most that uh, beside uh, looking at the Jama Masjid, there is no real connect between that particular traveler or tourist or or that history. But at the same time, if I tell him that you gonna encounter after the Jama Masjid a Nihari, which was produced or which was introduced in the time of Mughals, suddenly there is a immediate connect with that particular segment of history. That okay, this is a edible history which I can submerge in myself, and 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 it takes very differently to them because now they are immediately and instantly connected by the individual customized product. Only for them, which is a nihari on their table. That part of history nobody can snatch from them, and that is the history which they're going to eat. That's why I call it edible India, because India has such so many examples one can talk about. Either talking about the Shahi Tukla, which is a cultural amalgamation between Mughal and British together, where the British bread became a Shahi Tukla and in the region, and millions of story. Because you also have to when you are with a client or. Facilitating client itinerary or such so on things, you have to have such kind of content. At least our food history gives you so much bridges between uh, the food, uh, bridges between the cultural here, where you can instantly connect them both together and 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 be a story around it. Uh, requirement to promote food tourism because uh, I'm talking to you guys and I really have, because every segment have their own. Uh, you can say. Uh, every segment, I think something wrong with the presentation. Uh, I think somebody joined as a presenter. Somebody is uh, something is wrong. I can't see the screen. Uh, can you guys put in the chat box if you can see the screen? I think something wrong. Uh, Lama ji, can you just check it out because I was sharing it. Yes, Samarth, Samarth Kumar. Yeah. Now, sir, you can again uh, present the slide. One four. Uh, I think still Samarth is presenting the slide. Uh, Samarth, I'll give you an option to do it later on after mine. I'm still in between the story. <laughs> okay. Samarth, we were unable to hear you actually. You are unable to hear me? No, now I can hear you. Now I can hear you. Uh, I think Samarth joined as a parallel presenter. Samarth, I really. Yeah. Uh, Samarth Kumar. Kindly stop your presentation, please. Samant Kumar, stop your presentation. Or Lama, so you can remove him from the meeting if he doesn't stop. Okay. Okay, so I'm back, I guess. Yeah, you're back. I'm back. So, you know, uh, there are a few elements which we have kept it in here, and I have really hope from the industry or uh, the prestigious institutes like, because I consider 
as you a force member like every domain have their force either we talk about medical field have doctors army have soldiers so for me the i i p t m students is a force for tourism and uh, this is my personal like you can say a request that uh, you know we should always try that if we can we can promote our own uh, product own country own uh, elements in a best possible way and we should ha we have to be little more uh, you can say extra proud of our own things i'm using the word extra proud which means that we have to promote indigenous things of course we all know the urban uh, elements urban segments that which are already been glorified around the world but uh, the beauty of this institute are that people are coming from all over uh, the country and they always have some special element belonging to their village belonging to their city those are the element which are still unexplored i'm living in delhi and some guy who has joined from bhubaneswar maybe he come or hail from raigada and there there are amazing things in the raigada which a delhi person doesn't know at all those kind of elements i request every students who are coming from such unique areas which they think that still it is not on the national or international map bring out those segments ask your students Uh, ask your faculties to to help them to promote those things skill development basically government and institutes are already doing a lot of things but uh, personally as much as skill development you can do within yourself because of course there is lot to take within this 3 years course but uh, there is never less because the coming future which i see post uh, this pandemic uh, is uh, only era of 360 degree employees it is been said this terminology is been given by a very good friend of mine she come from lucknow mr pratikira he shared this article few days back and i loved it and again and again using it again 360 degree employee will be most useful for every every company so do i expect from you guys if i see you as my future employees that you have to be have 360 degree uh, knowledge session street food vendors upgrading we are already working on it but if you see anything around uh, maybe not directly but indirectly those elements are connected to you which you have to ask your next food vendor that completely upgrade yourself maintain the hygiene maybe my traveler going to come to the city so you have to have a better and a presentable hygiene factor and edible india every one of you is on the social media to so start talking about edible india food tourism is in india is already you know she number of cuisine and dishes popularity of various indian dishes all over the world because we don't have to introduce them that okay we are from india this is our food only thing this that only few number of dishes they know they don't know the millions of dishes we make at our places and 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 how interestingly we make it either we talking about the festivals we are talking about the the special occasions that we make or only in the specific weather we make so those are the key factors that could encourage people from different cities states and part of countries to visit in there uh i had divided into category because you don't have to restrict yourself to a particular segment like food only that you have to only talking about eating street food street food is good but i have a very big hope from the home food in future tea and coffee is one of the elements that uh, you know that way it has not been promoted so far in india where we are the second country ever to discover the tea on planet we can say and most of the country besides china and india ever growing tea either their initial plant are from china or india and we still produce one of the best teas in the world so do the coffee if we talk about we are we falls in i think one of the uh, most known international coffee chain i'm not taking the name here but uh, we are the top 5 produ- uh, suppliers for them in the world so we do have that coffee potential and and wine wine is also uh, uh, you know very underrated segment of india you can say a pretty underdog but uh, due to the tropical uh, uh, a very different uh, temperature conditions and weather conditions down south we are producing some of the best wines here uh, so do alcohol rural tourism is one of my biggest uh, you can say the hope for the future because personally i feel that uh, rather than bringing uh, rural people to the cities i feel if we are able to generate some uh, you can say livelihood or tourism segments or something that bring business to them where they are in their home comfort would really change our country demographic and also divide the payload on one specific city because i think there is lot to learn from our primitive in the rush of life 
we have when uh, we have gone pretty far pretty far uh, on uh, i think something wrong with the slide show but anyway pretty far on the uh, on the rat race that we have forgotten certain important things of life uh, where i feel rural tourism could bring it back either talking about the handicraft or the way of living or a pattern of living harvesting and so on uh, where we talk about food processing and agriculture tourism it is immediately connected with the rural uh, we also think that uh, if we all living in this country have noticed that we love our we are love our farmers jay jawan and jay kisan is our uh, nara we put it here but uh, unfortunately we are not creating any alternate income for our farmers and i feel like tourism would work as an alternate income to the farmers and in case of any natural calamities or some some sort of or any kind of an issue at least our farmer have a support of tourism uh, within their hand to survive so it also re reduces the payload of or you can say reduces the burden on the on the uh, government to bail them out every time due to any any reasons so it's an alternate income for uh, agriculture or farmers and also promotes our country producers in other part of the world that we can export those things which will bring out some foreign exchange or foreign revenue in then objective never less never more you can say that they have to promote india is a thumb rule in a best possible way and not just now i want or give a responsibility to every individual coming from every city or state to to find those unique elements and and create a narrative over it in the best possible way the food spices tea traditional techniques preparing either talk about uh, techniques here uh, either we talk about for example there is a todi vinegar from goa if students are hearing me from the goa there is a special todi vinegar which is not known in the world but i think that is one of the things that one should promote or so on there is there are many things you know if i start counting we might finish we won't be able to finish this webinar but these are the a uh, few uh, graphs i can't see my screen i, I don't know somebody jumped in again uh, can you uh, please uh, any of you namaste can you just double check that can you see the screen because something went wrong with the screen well sir we can see the screen and we can okay. hear you as well okay if you are able to hear me the, the thing uh okay so i'm not going to keep the slide for longer but anyway uh, Uh, i'm talking about that it is very popular already in the world the food tourism it is doing very well across the globe for a lot of people a lot of uh, in india it is also picking up not directly but yes it is i'm been working from past 10 years and if i'm surviving and i'm hiring people so of course uh, there is it is picking up in the world as well so there are countries who are doing uh, food tourism as one of the main elements uh, these uh, numbers are not accurate accurate in terms of that they are only coming for food but still you can see the growth and number of tourists they are handling in the in, in their countries uh, where they are uh, prominently promoting food tourism in their countries you know it's never uh, you can say uh, there is not one reason or uh, it's a million reason one can ask that why india should promote food tourism you know if you see the blank space here this blank space is for your for you guys because you can say at some point i also lack of uh, imagination or lack of uh, creativity so i always leave some space in the in the in the places where i i think it has always been crowd uh, contributed so if you if you suggest your faculties later on that this is your take away from this webinar and this is what you like to contribute because this is not one sided thing we are doing today i also want some inputs from you guys because you are equally a force member here as i as i said earlier so india is the birthplace of ayurveda which is going to be the next big thing temple food we do it very differently i think it is also very interesting and it also because kuch ho na ho temples are every in every city and state we have so learning from them is also something because they follow some different unique patterns which is healthy and other thing forest food is my my personal love because i'm been researching uh, with uh, one of my team member uh, over the tribal food of india tribes in india are still 24% dependent on the forest food which is one of the unique things because uncultivated food is a less burden on mother earth you can say they dependent on 24% on non cultivated food which makes it very unique i don't know if you understand when i say non cultivated means it is not organized farming they do they pick up whatever the forest give to them 
and it is an art of uh, preservation kind of thing we also have to learn from it because they do preserve it preservation of vegetable pickle meat fish and other very well known food items we can talk about ancient way of food processing processing bitter food to make it sweet eating <coughs> indian eating manners so on if we talk about promoting culture frame i will be sharing these kind of things with your institute later on where where you can you can do it in your free time because i'm sure you have enough course already that you are working on but i'll share these uh, some of the slides that you can ask your faculties that how we you can grow the subject further within you the countries as i said earlier with an official food tourism on the, on their card you can see it in front uh, we have been doing it from uh, past 10 years so we were been recognized by some of the newspapers and media in there and around the world for this effort and it has also been believed that it's a next big thing for many years that going to be uh, pushing and their uh, work further and uh, the side of korea tourism if you see they in india tourism they also have a segment where they are talking about some dishes so i won't say that it has been completely ignored mr shashwat yes, i think has started something mr shashwat you have to wait for to finish my presentation here you have to stop presenting yourself shashwat i really love the excitement stop. among you yeah you stop presenting your presentation shashwat singh can you hear me you have to mute your presentation i think i overwrited his presentation here so i hope it will work uh, so shashwat uh, as we uh, sorry everyone uh we're talking about the korea india does also have some some slides i seen in past years that uh, the government is taking forward and i really have have a big hope from the government because a lot of things become possible uh with the help of government but uh, not without you guys the road map for food tourism in india i have created a bit where uh, one of the things that uh, we are proposing in the word with the government that we can we can do it the food tourism event we were supposed to do it in 2020 i'm not sure how the post pandemic uh, uh world going to be so i can't say the slide is older but i still wanted to show you guys because it's not that we are slowing down we are working on it uh night food market is one of the things that again will change its uh, shape in the future we have to see how it's going to work out travel industry training is that what we are doing right now with you guys because as i say that you already have a load of course but i think if you if you think uh, this you like it and you think it's important you can still start your personal studies on it and there is enough material available and I, i i suggest that don't go on the books learn from your parents learn from your dadima learn from your friend uh, grandparents those who have a story to tell because ultimately what is selling is a story not not only uh, shashwat please buddy i promise you i will give you a time after this for presentation but please let my presentation finish first shashwat i'm overtaking yours here so yeah, i guess i'm uh, we are throwing this bugger out of the group right now oh anyway uh, i think it's a technical glitch i don't blame them ah uh, remove uh, so uh, so you know uh, it's a small road map skill development government is already fine but you know i think nothing better that if you uh shash what i'm going to take again buddy <laughs> okay uh, if if it if he's your friend shashwat if, uh, if anybody knows shashwat do call him and let him know is there thing some technical issue we need to cover up with that so anyway so travel training industry training we are talking about skill development keep i'm just asking you guys to put up your suggestions here uh because one cannot do it alone uh, we really need your uh, young and creative uh, approach towards such scenario because there is lot to talk about as a country and uh, we barely have done anything in this land it's still a barren land 
we can grow a lot on this indian cuisine as i mentioned earlier it is known in the world there are various articles posts and it is picking up around the world but unfortunately very limited amount of uh, food is known by the world and i see uh, which also relaxes me that there is a whole lot of potential still pending i'm going to uh, you know finish the slide here and i'm going to put up some you know conversation because uh, talking always works for me uh, and uh, uh, is one of the best things i what i feel and i have prepared few few, few pointers for you guys which i really like to discuss with you and uh, if i if i speak about here that 60 degree employment what i see as a future i don't want to bore you with much of the slide so i thought that uh, talking always works better so uh, for me uh, the future is for all of you guys because the world is changing uh, it's going to be very different post uh, this pandemic for a while and uh, people think that uh, uh, the tourism is shaking no i don't think so as long as uh, humans exist we will be traveling it's one of the nature if it was not we would have been limited to one piece of land if you see that most of the world land is occupied it is only because of the human tendency so i have a very great hopes for, for the travel industry in the coming future of course some dynamics going to change uh, some logics going to change it will not be same as the way we were doing it earlier it will definitely we're going to change a little bit but uh, but yes i do have a hopes for it and uh, as far as the elements i'm talking about here the 360 degree you need to learn yourself of course your uh, institutes are doing pretty well in their courses and and so on but there have to be some personal learning about something which is just limited to yourself that you can you can talk to the world that this is beside my learning this is a special unique skill set that i contain so it could be talking about learning about the food allergies for example we don't realize in india because we are immune to learn things but when we talk about a lot of people are discovering new kind of food habit or food food allergies and it is barely known by any travel professional for example if you're handling a file for a guy who is traveling from us let's hypothetically say that and he's allergic to gluten so and you are preparing his itinerary and he already well informed you well that he's been traveling from the us and he's allergic to gluten so i think if you can mark up the the in the three day itinerary that these are the states that you are visiting and these are the food item which contains gluten uh, so even you have informed your hotel and restaurant or your guide that he's gluten allergic to gluten and i'm sure he'll be telling too but if you share with him that these are the major food items available in these cities and these contains gluten so in case if you come across them do flag them that do do say uh, do double check with the the chef or anyone that uh, it could might contain the gluten so it will work as a very personal gesture because the future is about how personal you can make it possible for your clients special skill set that is what i talked about as i said tourism uh, food tourism is one of the main spine as i said he's been doing it for three times so if you learn about the state and cities about their native food and arrange the product or skill the people to have that kind of product food product i'm talking about either in rajasthan or if somebody is visiting a kolkata there is some unique uh, minor, uh, you can say culture left behind uh, there is uh, some anglo indian cooking anglo indian food or you can say typical bengali food or you talk, talk about the marwadi food one can try within so the variety is endless uh variety is endless within every city or state to to offer so those kind of studies if you can make notes uh, for yourself i think will really going to help you when you are going for an interview and if you say this kind of education beside this is kind of skill set i contain that i i know how to make the itinerary personalized or uh, glorify the city Uh, in a in a way that has been never been done earlier so will definitely attra attract your employer to hire to hire you and uh, it's not only about hiring you never know i i really have a big hope with the young generation they are they are very much entrepreneurial and if you come up with your own uh, startup of food or travel together uh, yourself so this will work and really going to help you to offer such kind of personalized services within within the industry uh you know one of the thing that we 
know it but we ignore it that medicinal value of the food so i think since we are all captive in the houses and uh, luckily we have these internet and the phones or laptops to learn so you can really uh, after exploring that what food we can offer in the state or cities you can also identify what are the medicinal value about it so it becomes an add on to offer and when you're offering an itinerary or giving an itinerary if you mention a special column just that these are the food you're going to come across while traveling here in this city or state and these are the medicinal value that you're going to gain out of the food so it becomes the like add on you know product to to talk about uh, edible history to carry as i mentioned earlier that uh, i'm sure you can always connect your uh, monumental visit or sightseeing visit with some kind of edible history where i give an example of jama masjid and nihari so on there are millions of uh, example can come across either talking about mindalu in in goa or 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 so on I, i'm not really going itemize to everything but i'm sure uh, as a travel professional you you know a lot uh, better than me but when you're learning about any city or state history or international uh, uh, you know people arrive there or some cultural amalgamation always look out for the food elements i think this will give you a highlight to your to your resume that you have a knowledge not just limited to the fighting place or uh, a city uh, you also have a knowledge of their culture variety of food because our inventory is endless because uh, even some cities or state doesn't have that monumental places that one can visit uh, this variety of food could always attract uh, personally if i talk about northeast part of india which i really have i see a potential uh, because but if i go besides some nagaland there is no much things to talk about nagaland has some what is free but not too much or not much that they can talk about uh, in rest of the northeast i only see food as one of the segment which can be promoted i recently visited meghalaya i was part of that northeast food show it was done by the meghalaya government and they also introduced us to the food produced there one of the best pineapple on the planet they produce there so i think nothing nothing can beat it and pineapple is one example i'm giving you one of the best pineapples in the world uh, but if i talk about they have millions they produces one of the best uh, turmeric one of the best turmeric highest amount of curcumin value their their ghost peppers bujula kya everyone knows about heard about the ghost peppers it come from that northeast part of india so those kind of food history and variety of food really you know and the world is curious about it because you know that for example ghost pepper everybody knows about it naga chili ghost pepper i've been to the world i've traveled across the world people talk about the ghost pepper but they don't know where it's come from so i think uh, some of the special itineraries that explore the land of uh, uh, the ghost peppers or some catchy or attractive product creation will work for you guys because i think what has been written in the books or the courses that you are learning from are referential and the world is open for your own creativity so my session my requ- my my request my my uh, reason to be with you guys today is to 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 see my country as little more innovative about offering the products and that's that will give a business to everyone in all different manners because i'll say tourism is a spine of economy because it, it really feeds a lot of hands a lot of a lot of stomach a lot of mouths in a different different way so uh as i said wide coverage across india there's variety either talking about the pineapples to the coffee to the tea and either we talk about gujarat uh, food so india is one of the country you can say that all kind of weather exists all kind of tropical condition and they all survived even the harshest land like the deserts uh, if you go in jodhpur and rajasthan area where there is not even a drop of water so i'm making um, little thirsty here talking about the water again they have learned to survive in that harsh weather uh, where they don't even have a drop of water they do bajra millet harvesting they they have they have been teaching the art of preservation in terms of pickles and and so on so as i said earlier and somewhere at some point we are keep on bringing back those things that could be one of the very interesting elements to talk about in your in your product creation in your itineraries or presenting yourself that i know about this segment and i i i get to see or think about because the government is hiring a lot of young professionals too if they have a creative mind it is no more a case they have their young uh, social media cell they have young 
uh, innovator cells, those who are talking about such things. So the potential is endless. Uh, as I said, food tourism is not dependent on any monumental. It is beyond and no uh, specific resource in Chile. If you even go to a place where only two people are surviving, living, still they are eating food. So you don't need much infrastructure to develop such a tourism segment. So wherever the human population exists, the food is there. You just need to learn and highlight that segment of, or encapsulate that particular uh, you know subject in the best possible way that that one can get interested to visit that. So as wherever the human exists, the food is already there. So you don't require to have a huge infrastructure to develop such segments. Uh, so it is not a resource uh, dependent. Uh, agricultural part, where I say that uh, you know you are a young tank, you are young thinkers there. Uh, think about innovating with some kind of agriculture. Either you're talking about the apple graft, apple plucking in the in the Himachal, or you can say coffee plucking in the down south. Those kind of uh, uh, product, if you can, you know, create some new unique products around such things, will give an alternate income to the farmers, and then they somewhere the the bailouts and all those will reduce. So of course, those money will be used in developing such a things. And and I'm sure uh, you will get a reasonable support if you come up with some innovative ideas about developing the agriculture or rural tourism. You can say, and uh, also it will reduce uh, the the burden on the major tourism cities because then instead of they come to the business, business is coming to their city and states. So we as a country we're going to cover more area, a much bigger. Uh, you can say the travel offerings and. Uh, the rather than getting a a big chunk from the pie, you are increasing the size of pie, which is the most important part here. As a country, as a as a young people who will be getting in the business, never think about getting the what is your what is the size of a piece you are getting from the pie. Always think about increasing the size of pie, so your size or a percentage of piece you're going to get from the pie will automatically increase. So that is how I, I expect the future uh, force to act like. Rather than running for your bigger piece, think about making the pie bigger. So agriculture and rural tourism is really a way forward to make this pie bigger. Uplift the no monument state, which has already been covered there. And as I said, the tribal uh, is an unexplored uh, segment. I really expect some chat uh, in, in the chat boxes. At least the guys who are studying in the uh, uh, studying in Bhubaneswar. I my recent visit in 2019 was in tribal areas of Odisha, and I was been amazed to see such an amazing food culture there. I have videos and sort of photographs too from that area, and uh, the idea was to explore and learn from them because they have been living from quite a long time and they have made their own rules and and way of surviving. They survived tsunami. They survived so many other different typhoons or natural calamities, and still they are eating. They have seed banking. They have their own handicraft. They have their uh, tuber eating culture. They are dependent on the forest food. Forest food is really a big, you know, uh, was something big for me because 24 percent plus, if you're not cultivating, which means that you're not putting a burden on the mother earth, and you're taking the food from uh, the nature as it gives, and you're learning. To use it in a in a most innovative manner, even uh, as an example, if I have to give you, there is a one a, a bitter like anything tuber they 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 found and they 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 thought that how we can eat it, and ultimately they have learned and developed one of the technique in which they cure the bitterness something like jamikan or you can say big size of yam just to understand, uh, and they cure it. Tuber is a root vegetable. And they cure it, and they cure the bitterness in in a way, keeping it in a in a basket in a water, and you read about it. I think it's going to be something to to learn from them. So, those kind of special things to learn, we have to make sure that you know there is always a good and bad impact of tourism. So, if while planning such things, if you calculate those factors, like for example, something happened very bad with the mountain, either we talk about Spiti, we talk about Ladakh. I wish we could have done it better. Uh, 
I don't blame specific businesses. I think it's very neat. And these one month, particularly this uh, lockdown period, have at least personally taught me a lot of things. That uh, the way the way uh, the nature is rebouncing. So I think we we have done pretty pretty uh, pretty bad to the nature. So I think the post lockdown it is learning for all of us that how less impact could we make it on the mother earth. Either talking about the sustainability, less use of material which have longer disposable life, uh, or using them smartly or as long as you can. Uh, innovating on your own segments, that segment you think of in a best way, that there should be no. traffic or you can say no burden on one particular segment like ladakh has too many because uh, other segment other 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 mountains are not been marketed that well if you go to northeast you will be amazed they are they are amazing and no less than ladakh or uh, no comparison if i say but we could have divided the uh, the traffic nicely so it would have been a less burden on that particular destination where uh, the 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 share of pie could have been divided smartly uh, the konkan belt uh, you always see people are uh, heading towards goa where i see there is a potential in tarkali or sindhudur these are the say the destination which are not been developed there are a lot of uh, now you are not dependent on that those segments should have a five star hotels of course they should in fact if they see a potential they will develop too but thinking about much more innovative either talking about the campaigns or you talking about the motor vans or the shags or or uh, homestay where you can you know create an employment for the local so that uh, something coming for them too so that is one uh, thing i i suggest so it voting is important your courses are very much useful but also at the same time uh, your personal innovation really gives uh, a lot uh, of drive uh, force to the industry and uh, uh, i'm not very deeply Uh, I don't know very deeply that uh, how your educational academic structure is, in, but I suggest that you should have some innovation cell or innovative idea sessions within your institute, where at least and nobody will laugh on it. Uh, if you have something uh, uh, something innovative and you want to share with the, your faculty uh, or your group or your friends, because you maybe have an idea, but your friends or your faculty has a sense that how it can develop or uh, grow further nothing better than that so um, that's one thing that uh, you know as i said never ending process uh, if uh, i can i can talk for hours but i was also very curious to learn uh, from you guys that uh, what innovative you think and how you think that uh, uh, that uh, color tourism is and if any questions i can answer If uh, Pawanji and Lama sir, if you're okay, uh, can we open this session for the question answers? Yes, sir. Thank you, Rajiv ji, for the wonderful uh, inputs on food and culinary tourism. Uh, so, uh, students, now it's open for you all to ask your questions and queries, whatever you have. Okay, okay. Amrita Chandrakaran has a question. Good afternoon, sir. If I talk about the food tourism scenario, even after the lockdown and COVID get to an end, people will still fear of eating food, especially street foods and mostly non-veg. So, how can we deal with this part? Uh, see, uh, uh, from the people. See, Amrita, uh, I really appreciate uh, the very focused question asking, <coughs> but I don't think so. This is a scenario. and i think this is where your people uh, like you know the role comes in where as much as elaborative process we can talk about for example if you are explaining that the food which we are eating now or you going to eat are been well cooked and well cured cured in sense of that for example if we talk about the marination of a meat particularly i'm answering the meat section here if we talking about the meat section we do marinate our food very well and you we call them spices but they are no less than herbs or they are actually herbs so somewhere the process does matter hygiene is very very important segment i think all of the people in their own respective field even street food vendors i work very closely have learned their lessons too that it will not run the way they were running it doesn't mean they were doing something wrong 
but i think there's a different demand now so of course there is organization like nasvi and as a food tourism organization we have been working from past 2 to 3 years now where we have been giving gloves caps aprons to the street food vendors and i guess this scenario will remain same in future as well and uh, of course it is not only for us i think uh, that's where the role of your kind of people comes in where you can explain or demonstrate the process and of course we have to work on a b2b segments too where we have to encourage the street food vendors to maintain the visual and and the personal hygiene in both segments and i don't as long as the humans are eating uh, the street food or non vegetarian food is going nowhere it's one of the oldest habits so don't be worried will food tourism grow back again of course i think it is one of the key element now uh, in your question i'm asking that it will one of the key element because people will be very concerned where their food is coming from and i strongly recommend to go local now so we have to highlight or encourage the local food among uh, rather than a food which is traveled for uh, 2000 km 5000 km it will also give the you know economy boost local economy boost so if you can encourage the local food habits will be better and we should try that to not to eat food or encourage the food which have to do a journey of thousands of kilometer to reach you so i'm talking about exotic fruits and so on things so uh, that's one of the things i i i personally think about the next question i'm taking myself uh, uh, pravanji i can read them is on yeah. shruti mishra what are the basic steps to encourage indians to visit another cities for food tourism how do we promote tourism in india i found it to be difficult uh, anything you try is never difficult as a student if you're saying that you tried and if you failed i rather uh, i'm i see i have seen the potential i know the potential so you really have to reengineer your process that you're not marketing well some of the steps i have already briefed in, if you have been if you was in the presentation from the beginning i should say that you need to learn how to market it well you're not done it uh, right or you can say you have the haven't done enough that could really attract people so one of the segment could work is that highlighting the factor there should be some story woven around as i said i gave you the one example of uh, moguls and nihari so every state uh, try and come try the best pineapple in the world uh, meghalaya people could use it uh, learn the different way of eating rice uh, bhuvneshwar people can or odia people can tell you pakhal and so on so i think you need to uh, you know brainstorm more on marketing well it will work definitely for sure because that food is one thing that it is different in every state and every 200 clubs so it cannot be go wrong here i i i feel it like uh next question after shruti i'm answering okay you will see inbound being part of edible india uh, we generally see inbound tourists being part of edible india how can we convince domestic tourists to experience the food nobody no uh, i think your your perception is wrong you are not marketing well i think we were not marketing well rather than blaming you i think we have to learn and being a young student you get the canvas now to to you you know the paint paint the way you want so jab tak aap pechoge nahi jab tak aap nahi samjhaoge koi khareedega bhi nahi usko so uh, of course uh, mai indian hu and i do travel across the india across india and one of my major segment or one of the major points to travel some of the cities is only food i either talk about lucknow either talk about amritsar either talk about down south i i only spare two to at least two days just to try the food from all over the city that what they have to offer so uh, and i know as a thousand of people mill hundreds of people at least i can say those who can do the same so you're not marketing well uh, trust me i think uh, we are lacking here creativity you need to learn the creative part of your or you need to do it more creatively there is a lot of potential lot of potential and you know indians are the most uh, highest uh, nationality to travel uh, in in <clears throat> in india so definitely uh, there is a potential uh, we have to just learn how to market more creatively uh can i ask a question yeah you can yes i can uh, you have to tell your your name and the institute you are from sir uh, i am akash chatterjee uh, alumni of iitm noida passed out 16 batch 
uh, a lot have been spoken about uh, this uh, homemade and home cooked food especially in this covid scenario mm -hmm. uh, what i realized personally traveling across india uh, it has a huge immense potential especially in tier 2 and tier 3 cities and also in rural part but how do we inculcate more and more hosts means how can we sensitize more people to 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 become a host and we have more options in this particular domain see where you are you, you are pointing out me one question there is an answer already exists or you can say the opportunity already exists in such segments so since you have a knowledge of this tourism segment and you have a very good understanding about uh, uh, there is a there is a vacuum in this area i think you should start putting it or if you can document it or you can ask the respective government to introduce a scheme see uh, even i see a huge potential in home food there was a recent webinar uh, where we spoke about it with the fiki that the future is about a little more less commercial and more personalized food so for me of course i agree with your thought process and somehow I, if you see the vacuum i also i see it as a opportunity uh, to to do a, some framework on it and i can support you on that if you if you able to do some sensible framework i am there as a business proposal or supporting proposal for you so you can reach me out later on on this if you find the vacuum in this and if you are able to create some vacu uh, framework on it then how we can do it uh, what should the strategy i am there for your support here uh, thank you so much sir. yeah next question i will take it as harshit verma thank you chef for a lovely session considering the wine tourism apart from the vineyard of maharashtra like nasik and others are there any destination in india which we can promote for a wine tourism in country of course you can one of the recent example i gave you is a meghalaya they do beautiful fruit wines and they do it in all the homes they are they are craft wines one can talk about they have uh, the culture of wines and when i say wine i i really say that we can also talk about some country made uh, uh, in northeast particularly they brew beers in odisha i came across some of the country beer country wines i won't say it's a little unauthorized segment i am not really sure but uh, there is already a huge vacuum within that area that you have listed here it has not been marketed the way they can be marketed and the second segment organized segment at least which is recognized by the government is meghalaya meghalaya government have already recognized uh, the wine culture in their country and the industry within the homes so you should focus on northeast where they have organized uh, craft wine segment so yeah uh, i'm taking the next question here can we promote our village food of course you can yashwan gopal uh, the food is that's what i said that the future is and if you are able to produce uh, promote your village food i can i can i, I feel that uh, the business will come to your village rather than your village people to go in in the cities to look for a business so it's a good thought process thank you for answering my question next next good afternoon after sir sir we have we have a bright future in the food tourism yes of course uh yoshi yoshi has been asking yes definitely we have a bright future because after this people will be in uh, will be more conscious about what they are eating and from where they are eating so the role becomes you know more important here for the for such thing odisha has one of the best chefs in india uh, yes we can say that uh, uh, see chefs are always there so i won't say any specific um the reason but uh, uh what inspire you to be a chef what inspire you to be a chef um see i was very uh, curious as a chef if i say uh, for me going by the logic or going deeper in why things are like that so medicinal approach for me was there to uh, to to become or to get into this field that why because india is one of the country i travel across the world but india is one of the country where we do a lot of things with with the different uh, reasons uh, either adding 20 spices in one curry and what is the reason behind it so i was more curious person uh, to understand that science behind it so one of my major uh, studies as a chef is spices i can answer why you are adding spices when spices need to be added and what all need to be done with the food so logic medicinal and other logics behind the food uh i just to ask you things which state is most famous as per your company record in which nri wants to go and enjoy the culinary world but all over the world nri is, is not segment we cater we only cater to national audience 
but uh, i do not want uh, that any one particular state to be highlighted i want my complete india to be highlighted with the food because as i say that we are been eating in every corner wherever the human population exists so i want that tourism to be spreaded all across so you know giving one city would be wrong because as a company we try to highlight every city with that where people ask for or we suggest for so there is no specific state i want to answer i rather prefer to answer when you ask how your state city could be promoted i will answer that as a student how can we promote uh, promote tourism post covid 19 uh simran uh, uh, my hopes are with you guys because you are more innovative you know the social media you know uh, much other things better than me here so of course rather than question you need to think about your country as i said our food is medicinal our personal hygiene hamare yahan kitchen mein chappal leke nahi jaya jata tha pehle ya native tarike jo the hamare khane ke pure karne ke khane ko ubal ke khana kacha meat nahi khana uh, ya uh, off seasonal seasonal food khana ये सब चीजें एक तरीके का हमारे अपने आप में खूबियां हैं जिनको हम इग्नोर कर देते हैं सो इनोवेशन इज नॉट इन द बुक्स और एनी वेयर इट्स ऑल अराउंड यू इट इज ऑल डिपेंडेंट ऑन यू हाउ यू पिक इट अप बिकॉज मेरे लिए एक एक सिंपल प्रोसेस सब्जी बनाने का या अगर आपने देखा हो करेले बनाने का प्रोसेस भी मेरे लिए बहुत इनोवेटिव है हाउ यू टेक द बेटरनेस आउट एंड हाउ यू मेक इट अ फूड करेला बहुत कड़वा होता है बहुत लोगों को नहीं पसंद है बट Uh, the way we make it, or your mother makes it, or your family member makes it, uh, it becomes an interesting vegetable. So, those small innovative things can be marketed well, uh, and they do contain medicinal value. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Vivian. Thank you, sir. Uh, what are the way way you suggest to promote food tourism as possible? Ten and try food from recommended sites more than on their own. I don't know. Pritam Bhamek has asked me that uh, website. I think पुराने तरीके बहुत ज़्यादा काम करते हैं और मेरे लिए उस खाने को जानना बहुत ज़रूरी है जिसको मैं खा रहा हूँ पहले मुझे हिचक नहीं होती है और as a street food explorer, I need to taste lot of food without even knowing the source just to at least make sure कि what I'm promoting or doing is right for me or myself. So. i do try a uh, lot of things that way uh, but uh, recommendation nowadays very well because aap jaisa koi dalta hu sites people like you are putting on the website so i trust those sources as well shruti mishra my question was when india uh, indian visit to any other cities friends and family suggest them to taste some local food so it scenario how do we encourage them to take a food tour see uh, uh, the young people like at least i can say i can state myself okay uh that i i'm very uh, uh i really go by the suggestions of my friends and family but i also explore things myself so uh, when you say taking a food tour uh, how you encourage them uh, as long as you have a tool of web marketing or social media those people who are traveling that way really works well for them if you are able to market yourself very well on social media that is one of the coolest tool you can say and most handy and very less expensive to you so think about innovative and don't go on just a youtube channel making a youtube channel of yours or there are a lot of facts finding of the food are missing still now now i see a lot of people just go take a phone go live video talk about this is very tasty this is very nice i think this is not really doing my job uh, doing the job right because for me it is very important when you are doing a food tour there is a difference between food walk and food tour so a lot of people say Okay, food tour, food walk. Food walk is a different thing. Food tour is a different thing. If you just do a food hopping, you are just going from one place to another. It is just uh, you know making people eat. It's a, it's a good food. It's interesting. It's a famous shop. Why it is famous? We ignore that part. It's not a lot of people visit, or uh, it has been visited by a lot of people. It's not, it doesn't make any special thing. Maybe he was the only guy at that back then, and then you became you know habit. He was at the same shop. As long as you are able to pull out the special reason because of the some things. I know one of the Delhi guy. who does a bed me chutney and uh, the chutney which he has is on the sabji on the top is uh, as a concept which is made for digestion and he does still use a traditional way of cooking it and the logic behind adding that chutney uh, methi chutney which is a fenugreek chutney on the top of aloo ki sabji is just for the digestion because the bread which is coming along with it which is a whole wheat bread bed me is 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 a is a whole wheat so you need some kind of supplement to digest that so 
there is a story around it food is not just about ki bahut acha hai it's very nice it looks very nice it looks very interesting no 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 i think that doesn't fulfill the purpose and don't even pick it that way and uh, just start shooting the video i think you need to do a little more research on what you are promoting and how you are promoting so your medium video making is not bad but there have to be some caption after the video or your personal note on that video that these are the logics of that food should be promoted and this is why this shop to be visited that's how i see it uh, can you give me some recipes ashitosh come on there are a lot many good chefs around the world you can <laughs> go on youtube find recipes over there yashwan gopal is what type of food to take to beat immunity in the see ginger is one tulsi is another one uh and lot of vegetables you see cleaning your hands and then cleaning your vegetable is important most of the food what we eat is very well cured uh for me any immunity booster could work and if you go on the list of immunity booster you will find easily i'm not going to waste time here talking about the immunity booster food there is just everything is written right you just need to learn in lot different way you can take it for example you can't just keep on drinking turmeric milk throughout the day so you need to see those immunity booster product how smartly you can encourage or uh, you know uh, uh, how smartly you can bring it in your daily life that is the way better rather than keep on drinking for example somebody say turmeric milk is good so you are drinking three times a day no you have to learn that how you can involve turmeric in a different way in your food or a habit or so on with the other food supplements which are immunity booster uh great to hear a live session damini jain okay uh sir should ministry of tourism should cooperate with the hotel chains to promote the local cuisine in order to promote the food tourism or should it promote the local host who can provide see it's a uh, experiences like a food walk uh, so as i said i think it's a 360 degree uh in co- in cooperation between uh the hotel because some of you going to join the hotel some of you going to be doing your own business of a food tour experience guide and so on so it's a mix of both A government cannot focus on only one segment so it also you know that uh, how well uh, your product is it depends on maybe you're not taking all the three meals of that guy which is running your hotel maybe you take lunch only out of his uh, take away from that uh, tour so i think we can really learn and adjust the ecosystem we can incorporate ourselves into the ecosystem and some of you who are getting into the to, to travel ag- agencies who are going to make itineraries and all that should also keep these kind of things in their mind that how we can make you know a, a ecosystem which in which everybody can survive so uh, ministry does a very small little role in here i think uh, ministry is not coming to the guys who are making the itineraries so i think it is a moral responsibility of every tourism professional to create such kind of an itinerary which fulfill or feed all elements of ecosystem who are in the uh, industry so uh, also the local food restaurant also the food walk for sure because food walk also doesn't cover all the food that can be eaten in that city or state because so how can tourism student can promote the rural food not only in india but in all over the world come on mohit aapne sirf ek cheez pakad ke us pe kaam karna shuru karna hai the rest the world will fall in and you cannot do only targeted marketing to international when you market yourself you market for the world within the first step if you are doing it from the social media you are already targeting the world i have few friends uh, who are who are into blogging food bloggers and youtubers hain and i know the response is coming from all over the world so and they never thought that it's going to be like that way so apne apne se kaam karna you just need to do your work right don't and don't be too conscious about who is coming who is not coming because sometimes it is the same process as germination of the seed work so before coming above the ground the seed go through a lot of processes within the ground so it's a very basic fundamental so possibly you don't see a lot of activity happening over the ground but uh, possibly your seed will start germination very quickly if you do it right so it is important not to think about to whom you are targeting uh, in that depression of course the content have to be for everyone but uh, not too much worried about it that uh, is it going to the america or it is not going to uk think about the right content and start marketing it 
सो आई गेस मोहित यू गैन आंसर हियर कुसुम गुड आफ्टरनून सर एज अ फूड इम्पैक्ट आर हेल्थ द मोस्ट डू वी पोटेंशियल टू प्रमोट द हेल्थी टूरिज्म आई थिंक फूड टूरिज्म ऑलरेडी टॉकिंग अबाउट द हेल्थी टूरिज्म हियर सो वी आर नॉट मिक्सिंग दोस टू थिंग्स विद द डिफरेंट टेक्नोलॉजीज हियर सो नोबडी सेज प्रमोट द अनहेल्थी टूरिज्म इट इज अ वे बिकॉज फूड इज ऑल्सो वेरी पर्सनलाइज थिंग you know some food is good for some people some food is not good for some people with the different reasons so it is already healthy habits we have it here uh, but healthy means a very different logic we can say our grandparents could have consumed much more ghee than you guys because they were doing equal uh, you know healthy practices or equal physical work so some of the food habits have to be trimmed but not calling them healthy or unhealthy maybe your unhealthy could be healthy for someone because he is running with a different uh, work process so let's not get into get into that debate but uh, uh, find uh, your own healthy and promote it simple as that uh, healthy tourism so right. ramad just two more questions to be taken up right uh, i'm i'm you are that sorry i'm not watching the clock but i'm open to whatever you say <laughs> okay okay Uh, so happy ramadan faculty members uh, should adopt increase sale of during uh, no it's not a relevant question sorry uh, i'm uh, rashi sharma rashi uh, rashi rastogi i'm lucknow uh, along with few friends have arranged the street food walk back in 2000 there so people mostly participated for friends and youths from same city after the pandemic we are planning to do the same both uh, uh, definitely it is a good thought uh, rashi but think about it uh, that uh it is very also important to support the local street food vendors so it's a nice initiative but uh, please go through the logics that how one should handle such number of people or divide into batches or split into weeks in the number of 50 10 20 whatever the best or maybe different time zones or time uh, not a bad thought i really appreciate such because it supports the local street food vendors but uh, sensibly plan it because we are not really sure until the vaccine or the medicine surface and trial uh, goes right how the world going to react to it about such number of people anyway so i think uh, it is lovely been speaking to you guys and uh, the clock is in on not my control uh, i would have been i would love to answer till the evening or as long as you guys are asking but uh, of course there is a limitation on this better i think i'm coming soon again with some other topics to you guys yeah. so i i'm i'm handling the baton over to pavan ji and uh, how are you over to you right sir thank you so much mr goel for a lovely food walk it's already almost lunch time so aapki baatein sun ke ab kuch khane mein zyada maza aayega and thank you so much for being here thank you all the students for being patient listeners barring one